Good day everyone. Our topic for today's discussion is Educational Leadership and School-Based Management or SBM. I'm with Rolly Yours Abakita Lori Fee, Tago Judian, Acevedo Charmaine, Fernando Pistin, and Ligo Junali. Contents. So we have five experts to discuss. First is expert one, hashtag we are unique. The second is expert two, hashtag we are safe. The third is expert three, hashtag we are love. The fourth is expert four, we are chosen. And lastly, the expert five, hashtag we are abundant. Let's proceed to expert one. Expert one. Number one, leadership at leaders. Lead, leadership emphasizes the act of leading and the importance of following. A leader must have followers or the leader's function doesn't exist. Leaders help themselves and others to do the right things. They set direction, build an inspiration vision, and create something new. Leadership is about mapping out where you need to go. Win as the team or organi- organization. And it it is the dynamic, exciting, and it's inspiring. A leader is someone who inspired passion and motivation in followers. A leader is someone with a vision and the path to realizing it. A leader is someone who ensured, ensures the team has support and tools to achieve their goals. While leadership inspired trust and confidence other members of the group. An example of leadership is a store manager leading the team to more sales. An example of leadership is the ability to take control of the situation and guide people. Letter A. Leadership and management are often used synonymously. Management refers to the process of achieving results through people and resources, including organizing, planning, influencing, and controlling. Letter B. Leadership and authority differ. Authority is the formal right to command, set goals, and direct people's efforts toward achieving those goals. Letter C. Leadership and motivation. Leaders can influence people and they should be aware of motivational theories to be effective. Number two. What are the techniques for organizing work and delegating authority to meet the organizational goals? Letter A. Principles of organizations are generalizations that may be applied in various management situations. They include unity of command, a span of control, departmentalization, commensurate, authority, and the exception personnel. Letter B. The organization process establish a a grouping of persons with need needed equipment and materials to meet objectives. Letter C. Line authority is a direct authority staff authority is advisory and supervisory and functional authority is the right granted by top management. Letter D. Authority is the right to command, the right to exercise, legitimate power including the line, staff, and functional. Letter E. Effective delegation of authority and responsibility is required to direct and lead people. Number three, leadership and organizational purpose. Position of leadership are established in work settings to help organizational subunits to achieve the purposes for which they exist within the largest system. Organizational purpose is a opera. Op- 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 Operationalize, operationalize as a direction for collective actions. Organizational leadership is a management approach in which leader helps set strategic goals for the organi- organization while motivating individuals within the group to successfully carry out assignments in service to those goals. So what what is the what is the example of purpose of leadership what is leadership purpose examples for examples to help the people around to achieve and success and happiness as they define it 
leadership purpose statement is my bacon. It's enabled me to achieve deeper connection to my work. It also helped me be fully satisfied with my job. Number four, history and rationale or basis of S SBM. To set a context of examining the relationship between the base management approach approaches and other schooling variables, the following is brief review to the centralization decentralization cycle in U.S. educational history and the agreements for school-based management which characterize the current decentralization movement. So, what are the main purpose of SBM or school-based management? Its purpose is to dissolve the decisions on student learning and resource deployment to the school to enable it make school-based policies which better meet the needs of students and enhance their learning outcomes. School-based management or SBM is a strategy to improve education by transferring significant decision-making authority from the central office to individual schools. SBM provides principal teachers, students, and parents greater control over the education process by giving them responsibility for decisions about the budget, personnel, and curriculum. Through the involvement of teachers, parents, and the community stakeholders in these key decisions, SBM can create more effective learning environments for children. Expert to leadership as non-routine influence. Leadership as non-routine influence. Leadership does not reside in the routine activities of organizational work. Instead, it occurs in response to or in anticipation of non-routine organizational events. This defining element was suggested by Kotz and Kahn in 1978 who considered the sense of organizational leadership is the influential increment over and above mechanical complaints with the routine directives of the organization. Non-routine events can be defined as any situation that constitute as potential or actual hadrons to organizational goal progress. Thus, organizational leadership can be construed as large and small-scale social problem-solving, where leaders are constructing the nature of organizational problems, developing and evaluating potential solutions, and planning, implementing, and monitoring selected solutions with in complex social domains. This is not to suggest that leadership as social problem solving is necessarily reactive. The boundary management obligation wildly assigned to organizational leaders caught and con in 1978 required that leaders be attuned to environmental events interpreting and defining them for their followers, anticipating an emergence of potential goal blockages and planning accordingly. The successful organizational leadership is quite proactive in its problem solving. First, critical organizational leadership is more likely to be reflective in response to all defined problems, defined as thus for which the starting parameters, the and the solution goals are unspecified. In such situations, leaders need to construct the nature of problem as well as the parameters of potential solution strategies before they can begin to devise a resolution to the problem. The second point is that leadership typically involves discretion and choose it in what solution are appropriate in particular problem domain. Team or organizational actions that are completely specified by producer or practice or are fully elicited by the situation do not 
usually require the intervention of leaders. In this scene, the performance imperatives we highlight can be construed as representing cluster of ill-defined discretionary problems or obligations requiring collective activity of organizational success how information to be gathered and distribute how to interpret the resulting flood of data and how to gain competitive advantages from technological advance in both production and human resources system are just a few of the senior staffing imperatives follow this challenge as executive to create the right human resources combination for their strategy wise. Rules changes under SBM. What happens when a school system likes to implement school bases managing some or all of its school? According to the growing body of implementation research, the major impact of that the rules of all educational stakeholders coordinated other central office personal board member principal teacher other school staff and often parents community team members expert three hashtag we are love number nine developing leadership ability developing leadership ability takes place in the context of the workplace expertise and empathy can be learned in every situation a developing leadership's ability is a lifelong endeavor B. Gaining knowledge and experience in a variety of ways and see things is a part of the process. C. Types of knowledge includes political, bureaucratic, technical, and professional. Letter D. Gaining power and using effectively is important in both personal and professional situations. Power and influence results in effective coordination of both people and projects in the course of achieving goals. Letter E. Develop affiliation and support from subordinates, peers, and supervisors. Leaders should pay close attention to those that are already leaders, group of firm leaders. Letter F. Supporting supervisors forms an important alliance. Affiliation that succeed depend on accepting the lines of authority, identifying with the organizational calls, and learning how to communicate within the organization. Letter G. Coordinate projects to complete them efficiently. This is major task of management. It involves planning, organizing, and directing people and resources to complete the project in a timely manner. Empowering employees requires self-leadership and grants individuals the power to lead others. Teamwork requires that leaders arise from the team. Number 10. TQM as an empowerment technique. Evolved from W. Edwards Deming's belief in total quality as a constant standard for industry, he advocates the use of statistical measures to track quality. We have the basic premise of TQM rely on satisfaction of multiple customers with product or services, employee, empowerment, and use of statistical tools problem. Letter B. Deeming absolutes of quality stem from his 14 rules regarding the achievement and maintenance of quality. Number 11. Leadership as Managing Social and Cognitive Phenomena Most definitions of leadership stress, social, or interpersonal influence process are key elements. Thus, persuasion, the management of social and political process, and the use of social power ubiquitous. Contracts in the leadership literature. In addition, as suggested by the problem-solving perspective, the execution of effective cognitive processes is equally critical to leader effectiveness. To illustrate, cognitive requirements include the interpreting and modeling environmental events for organizational members, determining the nature of problems to be solved and engaging in a long-term strategic thinking. 12. Obstacle to the success of SBM Much of the literature on school-based management is concerned with the problems districts and schools have experienced with it. Some of these are implementation problems, some arise in connection with operating SBM structures, and still others have to do with the failure of many SBM arrangements to bring about the results desired by school and district personnel and the other stakeholders. 
We have the unrealistic expectations. Many schools pilot the school-based management and they take too many projects and procedural changes during their first year or two of operations. The research on school-based management makes abundantly clear that full institutionalization of school-based management process takes a long time, as long as five years or more. Insufficient support for site councils. Site councils, which are the bodies concerned with planning and decision making in most SBM structures, are often given extensive responsibilities but lack the qualifications to carry out those responsibilities. Typical problems include lack of knowledge of school operations, member of newly formed council features, non certified staff, and perhaps parents and students. We generally possess little knowledge of school budgets facilities and personal policies issues and other matters about which they are expected to give input and or make decisions we have also lack of group process skills council members are likewise often deficient in the skills of group decision making conflict resolution problem solving and the other required for effective lack of clarity about the rule is this council a decision making body or advisory one assuming it has decision making authority can it make decisions about all aspects of the school or only about some of them Incruence between decision desire and decisions allowed. Not it frequently teachers find themselves becoming disenchanted with school-based management. One commonly occurring reason is that kinds of decisions they are allowed to make or influence are not the ones about which they care and feel knowledgeable. Other constants in decision making, schools are sometimes asked to be implement programs of school management while continuing the functions within the constraints imposed by existing federal states, school board districts, and teacher union regulations. In these situations, school personnel sometimes find that there is very little left for them to manage. Experts for three types of organization. Types of organization have different views and structure. There are three main views. Classical organization, now theory uses strict structure. It was developed along with a strict military and governmental bureaucratic structure. It divides organization according to function and uses a pyramid-like chain or command when it will when it is used effectively, it operates along well-defined lines of authority and functional control. The theory seems quite out of the debt, but the structural definition are still often used. Classical organization theory began as a criticism of classical theory because it didn't reflect what really happened in an organization. It was an attempt to humanize the rigid structure, it follows workflow and productivity of classical but meets employee needs. Contemporary organization theory looks at organization as a system composed of people, formal structures, and small group rules and physical environment. This theory recognizes the informa informal communication patterns and depends on them. Pattern also fit the system to the People empowering employee empowerment requ requires self-leadership and grants individuals the power to lead others. Teamwork requires the leaders arise from the team. Success of empowerment in the workplace comes from its many advantage, few disadvantage. However, careful steps should be taken to be sure that all elements come together for success. Advantage include improved productivity, improved quality, improved job satisfaction, greater responsiveness, and problem solving. Advantage include poor training, significant cost pressure to achieve corporate goals cannot be discussed as empowerment. Empowerment is not a shortcut. To empowerment must be followed to reap advantage over disadvantage. Leadership in the organization context. Most theories of organizational leadership is the psychological literature or largely context fee. For example, leadership typically considered without adequate regard for the structural consideration that affect and moderate its conduct. 
we maintain however that organizational cannot be modeled effectively without adding to such consideration one particularly strong influence is the organization level at which leadership occurs not only do the fundamental demands and work requirements of leaders change at different levels jacob and jacques 1987 cat and can 1978 zakaru 1996 at the Hierar hierarchical context of the leadership has profound effect on the personal, interpersonal, and organizational tools that can be made as well as the important that giving tools might have clearly a, Z, a CEO starting a reference for the site for a new factory is a different from case of a department manager sa stating his or her preference organizational level matters profoundly yet surprisingly has been ignored in all but a few leadership models in the literature what has been agreed about leadership at different organizational levels cats and can 1978 specified three distinct patterns of organizational leadership first pattern concerned administrative use of exciting organizational structures to maintain effective organizational operation. If problem arises, a disrupt, disparation, exciting organization mechanism and procedure are used to resolve them, and that God and can note that such acts are often seen as to in institutionalize, as to require little of any leadership. This leadership pattern occurs the lower organizational level. Second leadership pattern occurring at middle organizational levels in Bob's embellishment of personalization for formal structural elements. Action require a two-way orientation by the leader that is toward both superior and subordinate as well as a significant human relation skills. The third pattern of organizational leadership which occurs at the top of organization concerns structure, organization, or change in the organizational as a reflection of a new policy formula formulation taken together the distribution of separate leadership pattern across organizational levels that cat and can propose it suggest significant qualitative difference across levels of organizational leadership have been proposed in separate theoretical formu formulation by Jacobs and Jack Chakis, 1987, Mumford, Zakharu, Harding, Fleshman, and Peter Palmo, 1993, and Benz, 1987. Stakeholders' attitude towards school based management. Several research address the subject of the attitude towards the school based management held by those who have been involved in SBM efforts. Some of these most Notably, the attitude of teachers toward certain types of decision-making responsibility have been touched upon. Staff members generally preserve their school as being more responsive under decentralized arrangement with responsiveness defined as the ability to adapt resources and procedures to students' needs. Student satisfaction with the schools has been shown to increase under school-based management. Surveys of principals have constantly shown a high degree of satisfaction with the move to school-based management even that they also say that their workload has increased. There has previously noted what to be able to make or influence decision regarding curriculum and instructional instruction and have often re reacted negatively to participation and decision making about organizational matters that bear little relationship to the classroom. Expert 5. Approaching to managing people comes from the views of human nature. They reflect the degree of trust that managers have in their subordinates. Participatory management involves participation in different forms. Today, it is used to guide performance and self-manage team. Theory then looks at employees as lazy and requiring constant monitoring to perform. For example, about of these approaches to managing people, 
that monitoring of attitudes of his or her team and also the performance appraisals. Managing people like other aspects of management or indeed other aspects of human behavior. Major conceptual approaches to leadership. This defining elements and the conceptual perspective of organizational leadership, which are the following. Uh, the strategic management, organizational system theory, and performance effectiveness models of leadership. Uh, strategic management. Uh, it could be the ongoing planning and monitoring and provides overall direction by developing plans and policy designed to achieve objectives. Social and interpersonal exchange. The social exchange approach to leadership is perhaps the most popular and pervasive perspective in the literature. Leaders provide direction, guidance, and activity structuring to collective members. The major uh, of unit of analysis in this approach is the relationship between the leader and his or her followers. Uh, because leaders uh, provide direction and guidance to his or her followers. And it could be uh, the process of exchange of information, ideas, and feelings between the leader and the followers. Is being and student's performance. The ultimate measure of the value of school-based management will be the outcomes observed in the students who attain site managed calls by Archibery and Holford. Improving student performance is not a stated goal in most school-based management. Efforts and task decisions are often made without student outcomes, goals in mind. <laughs> For example, um, is being a uh, School based management uh, lead to greater creativity in the design of programs. Uh, main purpose of this being, uh, which, the, which is the policies, to meet the needs of students and enhance the learning outcomes. Of